Let me ask you something, Courtney, because mm-hmm. I'm so glad you brought up the term poverty. A couple of weeks ago, I asked on my Facebook page, I said, ladies, if you had a man that if you had two men, they mm-hmm. treated you well on every level, mm-hmm. every single level that you could ask for mentally, emotionally, sexually. They were both good to you. The only difference is one was poor and the yeah. other one was rich. Do you know half them ladies said they will they will pick the poor man? That's a lie. That huh, cap. <laughs> Whole it's cap. A, it's a lie. It's an absolute lie. Because Sorry. if they did, these men wouldn't be friend zoned. And I said, That's why do lie. we walk on pop? Why would you? Some of their excuses were, well, I don't want to compete with other women because I know he's rich and I know he's good looking and everything like that. That was some of their excuses. And I said, so you welcome poverty no woman wants to be in poverty and i think it's a shame that so many women are afraid to admit that they want to be taken care of why do you think that is is it a gold digger stigma Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it is so if a woman was to be honest especially about high pergamy Mm -hmm. because that's what it is yeah we're looked at as gold diggers we're looked at as she's for the streets because all she want is your money. Like even with the last show on Thursday. And I said, you know, being with someone 14 years, not being married would be a waste for me. Mm -hmm. And marriage is a business and a woman wants to be provided for period. Mm -hmm. And we do. And it's not a, a gold digging thing. It's just a woman's nature of hypergamy, just like it's a man's nature of wanting someone that's feminine. It's not that men are controlling and want to put the sword down and want you barefoot and pregnant, Mm -hmm. but it's a man nature to want what a woman is supposed to bring and that sweetness and help for you in whatever capacity that you need us. But as a man, we need you to provide like God put Adam on here first. He had a job. Mm -hmm. He was working. Absolutely. Yeah. And men are hypergamous too. I mean, mm-hmm. like, don't get that twisted. Like we are very hypergamous. And I tell ladies, per- me personally, I have no problem with gold diggers. Right. Mm-hmm. I, Cause at the same time, just like you want a man for his resources and you are just upfront with it. A man wants you for your youth, your beauty, your mm-hmm. womb. So to me, it's an even trade. And I always try to tell women like, if you're going to spend a man's money, if you want him for his money, <laughs> the easiest way to do it, I feel like, is to make him feel good about spending it on you. Mm. I don't think that's very hard. Yeah. I don't think that's very hard. I mean, like, I, if I know, like, for instance, my girl, right? If my girl wants a, a Louis Vuitton purse, mm-hmm. and I know Louis Vuitton purses are expensive, mm-hmm. if that come with a foot rub, Telling me how great I am, making me a bomb meal. Now, I'm not saying she a gold digger, but what I am saying is that it's a way to go about getting things from dudes. Because contrary to popular belief, we are not difficult to deal with. We are really not. Right. And I think, you know, men with money are probably some of the easiest men to deal with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they have to go out in the world and they have to fight every day for every single resource that they get. All a dude wants is really is peace when he gets to the house. And peace and a feel good. And if you can make a dude feel good about cutting a check or whatever you want, and I think you'll be uh you'll have greater success. Yeah. A lot of women just walk in the game and be like, Well, give me this, give me this, give me this. No, it's about giving yeah. and taking. I agree with you. And I I truly believe that men want to provide for their woman, like men want to take care of their woman, like it's in your nature. You want to, you know, you're hunters and mm-hmm. You know, you provide and you want to make sure everything's there. Men are fixers and they want to fix, you know, so that's what you want to do. But you want to do that to the right woman that appreciates you for being able to go out there and work hours on end, you know, dangerous jobs to be able to provide. You want to feel respected. You want to feel appreciated. And if we give you that, then you would give us in showers with the world. Like, I completely understand that. Absolutely. Since you guys are not just feeling appreciated for the work that you're putting in. Mm-hmm. But we're wanting the benefits of you being a provider, but not giving you what you need to provide for us for. And that's, again, appreciation and respect. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, 
if so, if so many women want this high value man, and we've heard it time and time again, some of the most outrageous calls on Kevin Samuels' channel. Yes. Why do you think women, some women have the idea? Because I'm trying to get into the mindset of a woman. I'm not a woman, so I don't know. Why do you feel like a woman with four different children by four different men mm -hmm. who is overweight, mm -hmm. who don't have any money? Mm -hmm. can really call and have the audacity to tell a man like see, like when I think about it, it's borderline offensive when I really do think about it because mm -hmm. you have the audacity to tell a man that you still want a man who's in the top 10, top 20% of all men. Why do you think women have enough gall to say something like that? Okay, so... Women, a lot of us get confused where we might have a lot of men that want to be with us, but not be with us, if that makes sense. Yeah, so they'll, sleep, if, they'll sleep with you. Yeah. Yeah. And so in my head, and there's a lot of women that think this is, oh my God, he giving me attention. Oh, he want me. Girl, I got all these dudes that want me. I can get whatever I want because I have all these men in my inbox. I have all these men, you know, trying to come over to my house. And so it it creates a narrative that I'm wanted by many. And so I can get any kind of man that I want because I have men wanting me for sex, mm. not knowing that the men just want you for sex and they're going to leave you or they're not going to take you serious. We don't put we don't put that puzzle piece together. We think because you want me, then you want to be in me. You want to be in a relationship with me. Mm -hmm. And with men, it's not like that. Mm. And, you know, there was something that I um, I wanted to mention, I think, a while ago, because I don't know if this was a Southern thing or not. But, you know, I used to see memes and, you know, men would say it. They would say, well, if she don't have a child by 30, her vagina is whack. Like that was, have you ever heard that before? Oh yeah, plenty of times. I yes. Think, oh, and so again, we're like, well, sure. I got, I had two, three, four men that wanted to skeet, skeet in me and because my is good. So right. I know I got good. So I'm supposed to get a, a man, you know? So we don't correlate because we don't operate that way. If we're wanting to give you ourselves and our bodies because we're really, we're looking for something more. We think men are like that. Right. We put on our on what we believe, we put it on you, which I think is a mistake because men and women are completely different. But mm -hmm. yeah, I just believe that. But then yeah, there was a whole thing. If she ain't got no child by 30, it means she got some horrible vagina. And yeah. so women was like, Well, shoot, I got a child, it must mean I'm good. Nah. Yeah, that's a little yeah. crazy because me yeah, personally, yeah, I crazy. don't want kids. I don't want kids, me personally. Mm -hmm. And my lady don't want kids. That don't mean her mm -hmm. box is trash. My lady does her, <laughs> that, she does her thing. That's why she getting all these free trips and doesn't work out. So, I mean, she does yeah, her that. thing. But, like, we, we don't want children. That is the, the decision that we made. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I think that's crazy. But speaking of... Yeah.